Current is to flow as voltage is to pressure. If you've studied electronics before, you've most certainly encountered an analogy, and it probably involved a ski lift, maybe a mountain, an escalator, a pump, or a tilting river. That's not what we're going to do in this video. Instead, we're going to focus on energy. Through the lens of energy, we're going to look at current and voltage, power, and we'll see how time fits into that as well. I think energy is important because it's the key to understanding how renewables fit into our world. I'm going to use some symbols in this video. The symbols make it easier for me to write, but more importantly, I think they make it easier for you to visualize the concepts. So the first is time. And that's just a clock. The second is a particle. And the last symbol is energy itself, which will represent as a box being lifted. Which brings us to the battery. So the battery has two terminals. This is the positive terminal, and this terminal down here is the negative terminal. We would say that the battery contains energy. It has the ability to lift so many boxes when it's connected up to the proper machinery. We could also say that once our battery is dead, it's done all the work it can. It's imparted all of its energy to the rest of the system. For the battery to deliver this energy, it must be connected to a complete electrical circuit. Now I've drawn a resistor here as the load, but this load really could be anything. This could be a light bulb, it could be your calculator, it could be a cell phone. Just know that it's a two terminal device, so the two terminals of the resistor are connected across the two terminals of the battery, forming a complete circuit. Now that we have a complete circuit, we can talk about the particles that flow between the battery and the resistor. If we got a magic microscope out and we were able to look at this part of the circuit, we would see the wire like so, and we would see that particles are moving through the wire. In fact, if we put an observer here and ask that observer to count the number of particles that pass this particular point, we would have a measure of current. And we would say that the current is equal to the particles per unit time. This picture has always bothered me a little bit. Maybe it bothers you too. The question is, which way are these particles flowing? And what are the particles? Are they electrons? Are they ions? Are they holes? Are they flowing the way I've shown here? Or are they flowing this way? And I know that a whole lot of time is wasted in introductory classes trying to figure this out. My personal recommendation is don't worry about it. Just go with the flow. Follow this convention that Benjamin Franklin set forth all those years ago. Now earlier we said that the battery contains energy. And we also said that there were particles that were moving around. The particles were going in this clockwise direction, as I've shown. We also said that energy was going from the battery to the resistor. So it would stand to reason that these particles must somehow be carrying the energy. We could say that there's a certain amount of energy associated with each particle. We could draw it like this. And that is what voltage is. Voltage is nothing more than a description of the energy a particle has. If you wanted to be more technical about these terms of voltage and current, you would say that current is not particles per time, but it's actually coulombs per second, where coulomb is nothing more than a number describing how many particles there are. Voltage, on the other hand, is joules, and joules is a measure of work, per coulomb. Voltage is joules per coulomb. So it's energy over the number of particles. We're going to come back to this circuit in a moment, but right now I want to talk about power. We know that energy is the product of power and time. And if we rearrange this equation, we could say that power is equal to energy per unit time. You see, power is nothing more than a description of the energy flow. How fast is the energy moving in the circuit? How fast is the work being done? If you look at our equations for voltage and current, I think you can find a way to shuffle them around 
So you might say power is equal to the product of voltage and current. Or using our symbology, if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this statement. Not all particles have the same energy. Let's look at that circuit again and explain what this means. Not all particles have the same amount of energy is very much related to our definition of voltage. Let's take two particles. Let's imagine this particle here and this particle right here. We would say that the first particle, that's this one, has a certain amount of energy. But this one down here doesn't. That statement will make a little more sense if we think of a ground, which is to say a common reference, a point from which we measure everything in the circuit. For example, if we put a voltmeter, we would measure from this part of the circuit, from ground up to the top of the battery. We talked about current flow. We said this particle will move in that direction and this particle will move in that direction. In fact, we just drew an arrow symbolizing current. And a few seconds ago, we said that this particle has some energy associated with it, which is to say it has a certain voltage, yet this particle has no energy associated with it. It has zero voltage. So the question you need to ask is what happens when this upper particle keeps moving and then eventually goes through the resistor? And I think you see it now. As that particle goes through the resistor, it gives its energy to the resistor and then the resistor dissipates that energy as heat. If you wanted to, you could put a voltmeter in circuit right here, connected to the center of the resistor, and if you did that, you would find that the voltmeter registers half of the battery voltage. So when that particle is right here, it will have given up half of its energy to the resistor, and then on the way down, it will give off the rest of the energy.